The cord is a two-wire, 18-gauge cord. Power cords tend to receive lots of abuse. The cord can be cut, nicked, internally damaged, or have the prongs broken off. A damaged cord should be immediately replaced to avoid an electric shock. Replacing the cord is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the side cover from the top handle. Now remove the cord clamp. Next, I'll disconnect the cord wires. The wire on the switch unscrews. The white wire is connected with a crimp connection and I'll need to cut this free. When I cut this wire, I like to cut up into the connector so I lose as little wire length as possible. And I'll remove the strain relief from the old cord. Now I'll install the new cord. I'll cut both wires to the length of the old black wire. This is because we shortened up the white wire when we cut off the crimp connector. Now I'll reinstall the strain relief. Now I'll strip back about a quarter inch of insulation from the black wire. Twist the wire strands. And just slightly more from the white wire, maybe 5 sixteenths of an inch. And again I'll twist the wire strands. I'll install a new eyelet to the black wire, place it over the wire and crimp it into place. And now I'll strip back about 5 16 of insulation from the field wire that we cut away from the crimp connector. Now I can reconnect the wires. I'll start with the white wire. I place it against the filled wire, twist the wires together, and install a new crimp connector. and I'll reconnect the black wire to the switch. I'll realign the strain relief with the housing and secure the cord with the cord clamp. Now I'll tuck the wires out of the way. And now I'll reinstall the side cover.
And now you know how to install a new power cord on your power tool.